I first met Dolly and Jerry in Philadelphia. It was in a Holiday Inn for lunch in early 1986. Jerry was polite, modest, just a very attractive kind of human being to be around. And inventing was his heart and soul. He had at that time, I think when I first met him, maybe 300, 250 patents, but he had hundreds of patent applications. And he was so prolific that every day he would come up with something else. He was well-read in everything you could think of. He had an enormous breadth of knowledge across multiple disciplines. He had many things in the toys areas. But I recall after coming to represent him that I got a call from B.F. Goodrich and said, we're very interested in a patent that Mr. Lemelson has on igniters for jet engines. I had never even been aware of it. Uh, I did ask him one time, I said, what do you think your best patents are? Because I couldn't go through four or 500 and make sense out of it. He said, I think my best ideas were machine vision and flexible manufacturing. Jerry, as the cross-disciplinarian he was, saw that there was an important relationship that you could extract information from images with a digital computer. And when computers came along, Jerry recognized that the computer gave the ability to now give you flexibility in manufacturing. Jerry said, well, if I control a computer, it can know which components to put where. I can find it by location, but more importantly, he thought, well, I can have a basic code like the Morse code, and I can make these marks in high contrast, black, white, and that led to really barcoding, automatic identification. Jerry believed that there needed to be that spark of innovation, the freedom and independence that an inventor had made all the difference in the world. And the only way you can be an inventor in these times and in most times, you had to be an eternal optimist. No matter how bad things were, Jerry was always an optimist. He'd get up every morning and never look back.